What's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and musician of a few years now. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get reverb inside of Audacity. So let's get to it. So let's go ahead and get some reverb into Audacity. Now I kind of recorded this little vocal melody really quickly, so don't judge me or, or at least don't be too harsh on me. Anyway, uh, let's take a listen to it before we add some reverb and you can kind of hear the dryness of it. Okay, so here I'm gonna hit play. I want to watch the end of the world with you. Your face can be the last thing I see. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw on some some uh, effects because reverb is an effect. So simply, well, you, first of all, you want to make sure that you're on the correct channel or the correct track that you want to re add reverb to and the correct section. So from there, we can select effect, go down to G-verb. Okay, and from here, we can preview and we can actually tailor our own reverb sound. So how big we want the room, the reverb time, the dampening, the dry signal, even early reflection and the tail level. Lots of stuff, things to adjust and you can definitely dial these in accordingly to your taste and what you want. Um, but let's go ahead and, and uh, preview what we have going on right here. I think this is going to be kind of a lot because this room size is fairly big. All right, let's take a listen. I wow, that is quite a bit. <laughs> let's go ahead and make the room size a little bit smaller. smaller. It sounds like we're in a giant church or something. Um, so I think making the room size smaller and obviously the the, the reverb time, that means how much time it the sound is delayed, which kind of attributes to the room size as well. So I'm gonna adjust it accordingly. And the dry signal is very important. Um, I like to have a zero dB dry, uh, dry signal. Some people put like just a little bit, maybe negative one or two, but zero is right right where I like it because then you can hear both the dry signal versus the wet at the same time. And uh, I think the tail level should be fine. Let's take a preview, listen to this now. I wanna watch the end of the world with you. Perfect, that's getting closer to what I want. But of course, like I said, you can dial this in to exactly what you want, play around with it, and then, and then just simply hit OK at the bottom right-hand corner. OK, so then we can hit play. I want to watch the end of the world with you. Your face can be the last thing I see. All right, guys, so that's how you get your reverb inside of Audacity. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.